Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today I'll be taking a look at the Mastodon Battle Bike from the Imagine X Power Rangers series. Uh, I've been looking for this one for quite some time. If you guys have been paying attention to my channel, I reviewed the Triceratops Battle Bike a little bit ago. Um, and this one's just kind of eluded me. I never saw it in stores really and I randomly found it at a Barnes & Noble of all places, which I didn't even know they had Imagine X toys. But they did and I was very excited to find this so I could add it to my collection. You have the Mastodon bike here. As you can see, the sidecar is primarily yellow for the saber-toothed tiger. And then you get uh, translucent, uh, like Jolly Rancher uh, type versions of the saber-toothed tiger and Mastodon uh, rangers here. So this is, you know, open packaging, which is pretty consistent for the Imagine X line. Taking a look at the back, it tells you that you can put the discs in there and fire them exactly the same way that the Triceratops bike worked. Nice group picture over here. Then you have a little picture here of the command center, the uh, remote control Dragon Zord, the White Ranger Warrior mode, Triceratops bike that I mentioned, and then a couple of two packs and Dragon Zord armor. Um, I think I reviewed from here over so far. I don't have either of these two. I keep going back and forth if I want the Dragon Zord or not. I think I would personally like it more if it wasn't remote control, but what are you going to do? A uh, little bio here, it says, How does the Black Ranger gear up to battle Rita Repulsa? Hops on the Mastodon battle bike. Equipped with a power coin launcher and sidecar for the Yellow Ranger, this Power Rangers duo is ready to battle anybody, anytime, anywhere. What a cool way to drive young imaginations. So there you go. That's pretty much it for the packaging. We'll go ahead and get this out of here so we can take a closer look. Out of the packaging, this is everything you get here. Obviously, you have the two Rangers, the two parts of the bike, the bike and the sidecar. And then you get these three uh, Sabertooth Tiger Power Coins. They are double-sided, and they all look exactly the same. So pretty cool. Going to put those off to the side for a moment. We'll take a close-up look at the Rangers here. So as I said before, they're kind of translucent, what I like to call like Jolly Rancher Rangers, because <laughs> that's what they kind of remind me of. Not the black so much. Translucent black plastic is always kind of a little weird. Um, but they have the same articulation as usual. They have the swivel at the uh, kind of glove. Then they have the standard out to the side, as well as swivel around for the shoulder. And then the head can swivel from side to side. And then you have bend at the waist. Pretty nicely detailed. Uh, the helmet is painted pretty well. Got the yellow eyes for the Mastodon. Got the silver there for the tusks. Looks like there's a little bit of paint chipping on mine, but what are you going to do? But overall, they look pretty good. Uh, quick comparison with the normal Black Ranger. Um, kind of hard to tell, like I said, with the translucent black plastic. I mean, you can tell when you look at them, but this guy almost looks like he's not that translucent. <laughs> Otherwise... You can see they're pretty much identical. So putting that one back off to the side and we'll take a quick look at the translucent yellow ranger. Now with her you can definitely tell the translucent going on there. Same articulation with the figures, shoulders, head, wrist swivel, all the same. And then here's a quick look with the regular ranger, a regular yellow ranger. You can definitely tell the difference <laughs> with this one. All the same paint on the helmet, although I feel like, I don't know, the, the saber-toothed tiger fangs, I don't know, for some reason I feel like they stand out a little bit more with the regular ranger. But the detail is all there, which I appreciate. So it's kind of fun. I do like that since you're getting rangers packed in with these vehicles and you probably already have some version of the regular rangers, that they changed them up a little bit. Um... You know, there's there's not technically anything in the show that made them translucent. Um, you know, like, you can make a case, why didn't they do metallic armor or something like that? Because that did happen in the show. But at least they're different. I mean, that way you're not just getting, you know, ten of the same Black Ranger. At least this one's somewhat different. Putting them off to the side for the moment. We'll take a look at the Mastodon battle bike. I like this a lot. I love the M, like the shoulders from the Megazord there. I love the tusk. The tusk. Yeah, these are the tusks. Or would be the tusks, but they're lasers now. The trunk is the word I meant to say. The trunk for the Mastodon. 
the green eyes look good. You got a little bit of a pop of yellow there. And then, like I said previously, what would be the tusks are now two laser guns, which I think it just completes the look. It looks really nice. Spins well. Got a little sticker here also for a pop of color. And it's nice. It stands on its own without the sidecar, which I appreciate. Rolls very well. Uh, to get the Black Ranger to sit on here. You just kind of push it down and then you can put the hands. And if you would like to turn the wrists, you can actually get him to hold on to the handlebars, which is pretty cool. Takes some doing, but there you go. He's ready to go. It's kind of hilarious because the bike is so much larger than the figure, but it totally works. He's on there. He's riding. He's ready to go. Now, of course, you do have the sidecar which is primarily uh, for the Sabertooth Tiger. It has a little bit of black just so that it kind of matches, and I think that's why they put that yellow on there, just to kind of make them match a little bit more. But you have the Sabertooth Tiger logo right there. You got a little bit of a pop of color here with this kind of gray plastic uh, vent piece. That's an inlet piece of plastic there. Obviously, you have two wheels. Rolls very well. You also have like a tiny little wheel underneath here. Um, this is the Imagine X pad. Now this piece here, this is on there so that you can't steal the Ranger out because of the open packaging. They always put these on and then they put a little like zip tie through this to keep this down. But you can take this off like once you have the toy at home. And you know, this way it's a little bit easier for the Ranger to get in here and activate the feature. But if you want, you could leave it on because it makes it a little bit more secure when you're... Let me see if I can get this back in here now. There we go. You can lift this up and then put the Ranger in. And then that way it kind of clamps the feet in place. I mean, you have the peg, which is keeping the feet pretty much in place anyway. But she's definitely... I mean, you could do it upside down and she's not going to fall out with <laughs> that clip in there. So it's up to you. You can take it out. You can leave it on. Whatever you decide to do. That is two options with that. But basically, you're going to turn this, and that's going to fire the discs out. So what you do is you open this, load up the discs that I showed you previously, and then when you turn this, it's going to fire them out. All right, I'll aim them at the Yellow Ranger. Hopefully, I don't lose them. But you turn this. There you go. <laughs> and it shoots the discs out like that. So I always worry that I'm going to fire them and then lose them. And then you just open this back up to restock. Replenish your ammo. But it's cool. I think that's a fun little feature. Um, the other thing that's cool is you can see the inside of the uh, sidecar here. So you can take the Yellow Ranger, bend her at the waist, and then she can fit inside here. And then you can also fit an additional Ranger to ride in the pad. So it's a way you can get three Rangers in each uh, car, sidecar, or I should say bike and sidecar combo. Now you can see here there's two large pegs, two peg holes. So you just peg them right in. And there you go. There's your bike sidecar combination. And I think that's neat because technically we only got two of these. They never did one for the tricer or the tr la la la. <laughs> I can't talk today. Tyrannosaurus. I believe in the show there was a standalone Tyrannosaurus bike. And then there were two bikes with sidecars. So all five Rangers could, could ride. Um, I guess it would have been too hard for them to do a Tyrannosaurus bike. But I feel like they could have done a Tyrannosaurus bike with a green sidecar for the Green Ranger. Would have been something they could have done. I mean, technically you do have six Rangers. But since we only got two bikes and you can technically fit three on each, you can still make it work. You can just bring in your Tyrannosaurus Ranger. And he can ride here on the back since he doesn't have his own bike. And he's very sad about that. Alright, apparently he does not like to ride with this piece, so I'll take it out. <laughs> So there you go. You can have there we go. three rangers riding around. It is doable. He does not come with the set. Just want to just want to preface that. Um, but yeah, so I think that's pretty cool. I like it a lot. I like this. Um, real quick, I'm going to bring in the Triceratops bike. 
I think it's kind of funny that the Triceratops bike, both sections are blue. Like, there's a little bit of reference here to the, obviously, the pterodactyl corn. <laughs> Jeez, I really can't talk. Pterodactyl coin is here on the front. And you have this little piece here, which is kind of like pterodactyl wings from the Zord. Um, but otherwise, it's mostly blue. But then this one is black and yellow. So, I don't know. I can't remember if that's how it was on the show or not. It probably was. I know this one was like this on the show. I can't remember if these were both blue on the show or if this was like white with some pink. See, really, I don't think you'd want to make it all pink, but you could make it white with like pink accent lines or something. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like it good all blue. I love the look of the uh, Triceratops head on the bike there. I think that's really cool. So yeah, both of these turned out great. I'm really happy to finally have both of these. I kind of wish there was a, a Tyrannosaurus bike as well. Because I think that would look really good. And who knows, maybe in the future we could see something like that. But I think both of these look really good. I'll take that one off. Uh, yeah, so basically, there's not really much else to uh, review for you guys. I feel like that's all the features and everything. But I think it's nice. I found this, like I said, at Barnes & Noble for uh, $14.99. And I believe that's pretty much normal retail price. These are about $15. I think it's a good deal. Honestly, you get a nice bike, sidecar, which has a cool disc firing feature. You get two Rangers. I definitely think it's worth the price. So if you can find these, I highly recommend it. I think it's a good toy, a lot of fun, and I think the price is very reasonable for what you get. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd like to hear from you. Let me know what you think. If you have a favorite, uh, tell me which one's your favorite between the Mastodon, Sabertooth Tiger set, or the Triceratops set. Which one do you guys prefer? Let me know in the comments below. Please like and share the video. Please subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the Mastodon Battle Bike from Power Rangers Imagine X. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.